So, that was a bit of trouble, but this is to suck. It's a game that seems to be a adventure game with at least some sort of high, a profile to it. I'm not really sure what people think of it, but that's kind of the point of how for now I go into blinds on these things, right? So, um, but it seems to have gotten a bit of a profile in Key Miller. I was interested in it, but I didn't grab it because I'm suck at adventure games, so I kind of figured that I probably should pass on it. But then the developers popped up and gave me a key. Anyway, so, yeah. I, I mean, I guess we're here then. I'm okay with this. If devs think I should play it, then I, yeah, I'll play it. Um, so, uh, it's now saying continue game because we already hit new game. I hope it doesn't actually, I hope it starts from the beginning. We'll, 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 let's see, I guess. It does. Long, long ago, somewhere nearby yet far, a so kingdom of Crescent let me know if the volume's Star okay. Was ruled with strength, heart, and wisdom unseen by beloved monarch, the gold-haired good queen. Okay, I like a good rhyme. This is starting out good. <laughs> that, do I have to press something? I think I have to press something. Oh, it's a, yeah, I do I have to turn the page. Always <laughs> close, right by her throne, was the little princess Chop. Shock. Hardly ever seen alone. Shock. Where queen hmm. went, daughter would walk. That is not at all how I thought that would be pronounced, but sure. I mean, it makes sense. It's just not what I thought. Shock. Yet soon would end the time. Princess Shock. <laughs> Ill news came from the frontier. The phoenix, an ancient beast, brought to flames all that came near. Queen said, my dear, you must understand. I have to leave to a distant land to fight for you and all I hold dear. But in her heart, the princess felt fear. Leading an army, away the queen rode. Everyone prayed for her quick return home. That doesn't rhyme. <laughs> Except one. Who in the castle remained to use the queen's absence for his own gain. That only that kind of rhymes. The rhyme structure, it's not quite there. It's not quite there anymore. Zero out of ten, failed at rhyming. No, it's fine. It's not my ambition had sworn with evil forces coalition. Okay, that's a good rhyme. To realize his sinister plan to rule the minds of all women and man. Wait, I think the narrator said man, but the, the 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 text says men. Of course, man would work better for the rhyme, but man wouldn't work for the sentence. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like this could have been rewritten to work, though. I feel like there would have been to rule the minds of every woman and man, or something like that would have been fine. If you just replace all with every and maybe like cut out a word somewhere. Then, but, uh, I don't know why I'm critiquing this. <laughs> Set upon the highest tower, the wizard unleashed his power. The sky went black and lightning stormed. The castle began to transform. I mean, that's pretty cool animation, I have to admit. Towers once bright became dark as night. Oh no! <laughs> From walls and floors broken, crawled horrors unspoken. The vile wizard and his minions made the castle their dominion. While the princess bravely fought, she eventually too was caught. No, I have to, I have to say, I'm actually, I really like the narrator. Maybe a little bit hammy, but in a good way. To the dungeon, take her! A prisoner, make her! Keep her there and lock the door! Interrupt me no more! Said the wizard and disappeared. Yet what he really should have feared was leaving but a single lock between escape and Princess Chalk. She really, it is really is, I just gotta call her Chalk, that does work. I mean, that's pronounced, I think that's the exact, exact same phonetics, even though I'm saying the word Chalk when I try to say it. Maybe if I say it with a little bit of a harsh C, it's perfect. Chalk. 
But yeah, uh, man, that narrator is good. I like that. I like that narrator a lot. I'm sorry. Yes, it's hammy as hell, but wow, he put a lot of effort into it. I appreciate that. So, first room of the game. So we got, like, jet black goblins? Okay. Let's look around the room. Or, what am I clicking? Oh, the bars. <laughs> Skeleton. What was that? Let's talk. Let's see. The army can still be seen from the window and he immediately pulls this off. Yeah, that wizard had some was very impatient, wasn't he? So I don't know if this is a direct adventure game, or it might be a more case of like I need to look around. Well, it probably is an adventure game, but like <laughs> Castle's already falling apart. It's probably been like one day. Or one one yeah, full one full day. Hmm. Can I just interact with whatever? I mean, I guess not, because I'm stuck over here. Oh, that turned into a, a diamond icon. <laughs> There's a lot of little animations. I appreciate. I appreciate the animations. So one thing, uh, I need to move the phone. Because the phone, I realize, is blocking an icon. So let's just put that there. A new fat softy. Oh. <laughs> well, your D, D is not wrong on that one, I suppose. Hmm. Click. Wait, what's going on? Huh. Clicking the tentacle monster made it do something. Interesting. That's interesting because I have no physical way of interacting with it. With the character with the main character anyways, so. Heh. <laughs> skeleton bird. Oddly enough, the skeletons seem rather lively here. So, I wonder what I should be doing. Let's see. Is there... Can I... Can I... Can I take your key somehow? Uh-oh, already a hentai game. <laughs> you can't have tentacles without that comment. Okay, so... I mean, hmm. I mean, I'm immediately put in a situation. What have I not clicked? That's really the question right now. The food plate seems to be one object, so okay. Um, I mean, I can mess with the door. I really can't mess with anything except for what's in my cell, technically. Uh, can I, like, find something? I mean, the closest we've had to an interesting interaction was clicking the tentacle. Who wants the food? Tentacle wants the food when I click the tentacle. But gets stopped by the guard. Can the guard be distracted? What what distracts the guard? Oh wait, he didn't like the skeleton being interacted, right? If I do both at the same time. Nope. Hold on. I think at one point when I was messing with the skeleton, he said like stop that or quiet. So Maybe if I- oh, you know what? He does- he did seem to be making more interactions. Okay, hold on. I think- maybe I know what to do. I'm just gonna keep clicking the skeleton for a bit. Yeah, see, he's like talking like silence. So let's keep doing this. If I just keep up the noise for a little bit. Why are you doing that? Stop it! <laughs> Obviously, I think I'm getting a subtle hint by that. Can I not, like, I need to permanently distract him. Or at least permanently enough for the tentacle to do its thing. Hmm. What would you do in this situation, Guan? I'm pretty sure the look interactions don't actually do anything. I want to do hand interactions. I mean, I mean, clearly annoying the imp guy, but not enough to distract him. Hmm. 
How you do that? Stop it. I'm, qu I'm kind of wondering how I'm doing this too. Does the princess have psychic abilities? And like, I'm gonna bounce his skull. Is there anything that he really doesn't like? I mean, I have this bag. Let's see. Oh, actually, we have something in it. Okay. Maybe... Oh. I just assumed we had an empty inventory. What? Interesting. I'm surprised he gave it back. Okay. What if I do it again? <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna say this right now. The animation, as well as how the sound works. If you notice, there's sound cues when I'm doing these things. He's re the, the, sound is re the sound is reacting just like a cartoon. This is really good. I like this a lot. This is really good. <laughs> I had a feeling! He's done. And you be quiet. <laughs> Poor goblin, I was kinda liking him. <laughs> he says there's four that might be why they actively sought you out. <laughs> you think that's some reason because I'm the boar guy? I mean, hey, can't deny that. What do I can do now though? Oh, skeleton. Oh, I can climb now. Okay, that's cool. Oh, I climbed on the skeleton. Okay. Puh. All right, get up. <laughs> Probably could use that. All right, now I can actually. Yeah, I'm actually pretty impressed by this. I was not expecting the animation quality and like the timing and just. It's got a good punch to it. I dare say that I played. I mean, I've seen Guan play a lot of adventure games that didn't have this much uh, attention to detail, I guess. I mean, good games that Guana played, but has played, but not necessarily, like, it's weird too, because the animation can be kind of choppy, but it's like really effectively done. I like it. Uh, so the key's not, so the key to the door is not here. Yeah, we can't open this. But... I think I know what to do. Since the since we didn't learn earlier the tentacle wanted the bread. Let's give it to him and see if it is willing to do a trade. Oh, that's very nice tentacle. Thank you, very nice tentacle. I like how she had to <laughs> Okay, you know what? Tentacle monster is pretty great. <laughs> tentacle monster is a nice tentacle monster. This is very cute. Oh, I guess I need to use the key. Thought she could figure that one out on her own, but that's fine. So I don't- I dare say this may not be completely an adventure game, and more of a- Kitty. Oh, thanks, Tentacle Monster! Yep, Tentacle Monster is a- Tentacle Monster is apparently a bro. Okay, cool. Hi, cat. <laughs> tentacle Monster may seem like one of the evil things brought up for the desk, but I guess he's just misunderstood. And probably not evil. To be fair, 
Oh, us, us assuming that a tickle monster is evil is a bit rude when you think about it. Like, they could, like, why? Let's not presume to know the, the, uh, uh, the, the moral level of, of a creature just by its appearance. Come on now. Okay, so I can go, uh oh. Hi. That doesn't look very stable. I guess it's stable enough. Uh. Oh, should I have done something? Oh. H how dare you! You will send you back one hallway! Wah! That's actually really fair, though. Let's go this way, then. He's not evil. He's just kinky. Kinky is not evil. This is true. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, eye interactions are unnecessary things, I believe. While hand is, like, something involving the puzzle. All right. Speaking of puzzles, something is missing. Probably this. Hello, Mr. Giant Spider. Oh no, it's scared. Oh. That's a really cute... It's like a chunky cute spider. I like it. I'm not sure I'm a fan of the left-right tilting of the landscape. Left-right tilting? Oh, you mean when I scroll? I, I consider that kind of unnecessary, but I don't really... Why are you bothered by it? It seems kind of... Like, I wouldn't mind if it was just a static scene, but I also don't mind that it does that. I mean, I guess the scrolling makes it just a little bit harder to see if there's an, something you need on the edge of the screen. Though it does seem like the game is fairly good about not actually having anything on the edge of the screen so far, so it's not like it's hiding something from me by doing that. Disorienting? Oh yeah, on a motion level? Perhaps so. Perhaps so. I could see that. You know, I say I suck at adventure games, but I just, like, immediately see how to solve these things, so I, I guess I'm not too bad at adventure games. Just if they get up too, so I can't do it. There's nothing here. Hmm. Oh, hold on. Hi, spider. Oh! I see. We're, we're gonna get Harry Potter in this, in this bitch. <laughs> no, I am actually very happy of easy starting puzzles. I like a building difficulty for all games, whether they're puzzle games or action games. I like a difficulty that builds and is fair. Uh, maybe I should put that on before. No, I'm gonna put it on here. Woof. Oh, I guess they didn't see me. They were just going to investigate noise, probably. All right. That works. Hey, it's Spider. Ooh. That's that's interesting, D. <laughs> of course you, God, D. You of course you found a way to bring that up again. Oh, what was I supposed to do there? Like, go? Something? Not really sure. Oh, wait, hold on. I think I understand. No, I don't understand. Maybe this is quickly put this on? Wow, they're fucking... Not the most observant, are they? They're like Metal Gear Solid guards with their peripheral vision. Oh. Lights out. Uh oh. Do they see me? Yes. I mean, with their terrible eyesight, I figured I might be safe there. Uh, what else do I have on me, though? I only have the cloak, so what else could I do? Maybe move more slowly or something? No, I, it's just one step, and I, I mean... So that's, that's a required event. What can, I, what can I do in this situation? Uh. Hmm. Sound design is underrated. This is absolutely true. I like th the sound is very dynamic and playing with the situation. 
Use the cloak. Well, and the cloak flies away, so what do I do at that point, you think? I can't catch it. It goes it goes uh, away. Maybe I just need to click repeatedly until I get up. No, that's not doing it. Hmm. Maybe I could psychic the light off? I don't know. Hmm. I mean, I'm forced to go forward. That's what I have to do. This is all... This is all a required event. Um... Anything at all. Anything at all I can interact with here. I have to go for The game doesn't even let me go back, so I have to get myself in this situation. The spider. I mean, yeah, but where is the spider? Yeah, see, I can't go back. I have to. So this is a tr this is an event I have to do. So I have to find the solution. I, I can't seem to click the switch. I can't seem to click... There's no spider right now. Oh, the spider! Oh, spider shows up. <laughs> oh, that works, I guess. So I didn't notice the spider came in halfway on the scene, so I had to wait a bit. Also, I like how every time the character falls down, I have to click them to get them up. That's kind of a cute detail. Well. Uh oh. Who's this guy? Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> um. Hold on. Oh, I get it. I understand. This is interesting. I think. Wait, hold on. Now there's now it's a, now it's a timing puzzle. I like this. This game is great. I fucking. This is great. Everything about this is so personable. I wonder what I'm supposed to do at that point, though. Do I have any other options? I don't think I do. Okay, when he backs off, go. <laughs> I like how we have critter friends that help us. No, this is really, I didn't, adventure games can very quickly bore me if they don't have enough personality. Guan here is the adventure game guy, the guy I go to for adventure games because he has more patience than me. But this game is providing plenty of personality that I'm keeping keeps me very engaged. Hi, how's it going? <laughs> hmm. Oh, they still look out of the elevator. <laughs> they were taking the elevator. It's like now they're upset. Let's see here. What can I do? Oh. That's probably not what I want to do. Hmm. I love that Char is enjoying this. Guan, do you enjoy this? I'm kind of curious. Hmm. Let me interact with the environment before I do anything. So they're hanging out there. Is there anything here I can interact with? I can back up. I can go up the stairs. No, she doesn't want to. Uh, I mean, let's pull this. Okay. Well, they're going. They fell up. Good. Oh, hey, a, a, a bart? A badarch? I don't know what these things are called. That's obviously a type of spear, but... Oh, God. She looks ready to use that. <laughs> Even with her small size. Uh, what am I going to do with it? Oh! I'm going to use it to pick this up. Or fall. Oh, it's fine. There's a nest. I am enjoying this. Alright, what can we do? Probably not much. That's way too big a- that's too big a web for a little spider. What is this spider doing? Oh.
At least I think it's too big a web for a little spider. I don't know, maybe he's very ambitious for being a little spider. Ah, I see. That's, oh, that's not, not a great ladder. Let's make it better. Nice. That's pretty ingen- that's the, using ingenuity right there. still broken can't get to move hmm do I need to that doesn't make sense yeah it doesn't I was just wondering what do you mean by what is bro what actually what is broken with it let's see hmm okay oh yeah I got oh yeah it makes sense I just, I thought to myself that two was enough. I didn't think that we would need to get the sticks back. Okay, makes sense. Oh no! Oh. Oh. Can I... Wait. Go, go, go. <laughs> oh, found a good work! Fucking fell down the hole, good... Fucking job with that. Can I work carefully go? No. I like I appreciate that if I use the spider web on him, I get a slightly different game over different game over animation with his spider web on his head. Wait, let's see. Oh, that that works? I think I understand. Oh, that's clever. Uh, I guess I didn't see anybody anyways. Short-term memory. Yes, there we are. That made sense because we couldn't use the elevator. Those guards were on it, so we had to use a different elevator. Oh, a watchtower. Oh, it's the wizard. So he's like looking. Oh, oh. Oh, there's also... Oh no, they have flying variants. Alright, let's go. Carefully. The moon's blinking, by the way. Just noticed that. Look how panically he looks over. Yes, yeah, it's, it's not just. I mean, I guess this counts as an adventure game, but it also feels like it has. I don't know. It's it's not doing just point and click style. It's well, it is point and click technically. But it's also like having action elements and stuff, which adventure games can have, but it's kind of rare, you know? A lot of adventure games are a lot slower paced. 